I'm Miss Brainerd. This is David. Um, he is a male betta fish. Hi, my name is Jenna Shad, and this is my fat cat, Napoleon. Uh, hi, my name is Hattie Sufi. I'm a student at UNCG. I'm a computer science major in my junior year. And this is Rupert. He's a bearded dragon. He's about two. Um, so my name is Morgan. Um, I have a gnaw here. She's a ball python. Um, currently, I'm working in a veterinary hospital. Um, I want to be a vet in the future, so I've got lots of animals. <laughs> my name is Priscilla Jordan. If everything goes according to plan without divine intervention, I'll be graduating from UNCG with a degree in media studies this May. And this is my beloved Nicodemus. So my name is Britton Frost. I'm 22 years old, not 21 anymore. And this is Spencer. She is a Border Collie mix and she will be two in February. So this is Dodger. He's almost two as well. And Dodger is a goofball. He reminds me of like, you know one of those football players who you see in an interview off camera and they're like so goofy in real life but then you see them in the game with the paint and they like look so scary and intimidating? That's him 100%. He will bark at you, he will protect me with everything that he has and then as soon as he knows you, he'll jump into your lap and lick you to death. He's just a very angry fish, always puffing his gills out. If you walk by him, he watches you. Piano calms him down, though. He he just kind of, he gives us this very strong vibe of you know I'm better than you. You feed me because you want me. I'm gonna be fine without you, you know. And then grumpy just because you know if he he spends a lot of his time just curled up in a corner like kind of glaring at you, like, you know, don't touch me. I'd say Napoleon's personality is like cat dog, like you know, like the old Nickelodeon show. So he's a dog because he's like not timid at all. He'll go up to any stranger and you know ask them for food and let them touch him and pick him up. But he's a cat because he likes laser pointers and uh, anything that dangles, and he sleeps all day. So he's a mixture of both. He's perfect. My girlfriend and I always joke that she's like the type of girl who's so pretty that you can't approach her and she acts kind of shy and like runs away and just kind of leads you on, but then once you get to know her, she's awesome, but it just, it takes a while, because she has anxiety. So there was a point in time where I actually had both, I have three snakes, so two of them were together, um, and they had somehow learned to move the top of their mesh cage um, open, and were starting to get out, so I actually had to padlock the cage for a little while to prevent them from leaving. He was in fifth grade, uh, which was interesting, and right now he's in second. But they all have questions about him, like why his, if he makes bubbles, does he eat his own poop, do fishes poop, do fishes sleep, is he dead, all good stuff. I can't imagine life without Rupert. And um, how has he changed my life? I mean, it's, it's just nice having like something to be responsible for, you know, how it kind of helps you, it kind of forces you to organize your life and be a little less chaotic, a little more like, you know, on top of your shit, you know? Probably before I had snakes, so about four years ago, I wasn't really a reptile person. Um, and so after I got one, I ended up getting another and then another. Um, and yeah, and it's definitely a big part of my life now. That's, I actually want to be a reptile vet, so it's changed it quite a bit. I think my favorite part about having a pet is that I know if somebody's worried about me when I don't come home at night. I could not imagine life without Napoleon, even though, I mean, he's pooped on probably every bathroom mat I've ever owned. He's peed on the ground, he's peed in my bed, he's thrown up on my clothes, I've stepped directly into his shit before. Um, but even after all of that, I could not train him for the world. He adds a little bit of routine to it. So every morning I'd wake up and say good morning to him, even though he can't hear me, and call him angry. And he'd puff out his gills and help a good start to the day. On a scale of one to 10, I love Napoleon this many which would be 10 if he had fingers. Depends on how much of a little shit he's being that day, but it's usually around like an eight or a nine. 1,000%. <laughs> I mean, I hate when people say like 100 or whatever, so a 10, I mean, as much as I can, as much as possible.